Hey guys, so we just saw The Creator and it was amazing. It is shocking to think that this movie was made with less money than some of these superhero movies because the CGI is insanely better. Yeah, it looks better than 90% of the films that we've seen recently. Yeah. So The Creator at its root is about AI and how humanity is going to handle it. There's been a war in America that started with a nuclear bomb that America blames on AI. So AI has been banned in North America, whereas in Southeast Asia, they've got their own alliance where AI is actually an integral part and are treated like citizens. And so you get to see this cool divide between in the West, where there's a lot of animosity towards technology you know that juxtaposed with southeast asia where they're not only part of their communities but they've actually built almost new religions where ai is central to that yeah and even go so far as to say that they're the future yeah you get john washington's character who's a secret agent over in southeast asia trying to catch the creator of ai and while he's undercover you know typical kind of sci-fi stuff his cover's blown he has to leave and thinks that the woman that he had fallen in love with his wife is dead just to be lured back in by the government you know, government telling him that no they she's not dead and that he needs to go find her because um, ai has created this super, super weapon, weapon. Yeah. yeah so they need his help to be able to find where the super weapon is and kill it otherwise all of humanity would go extinct and so obviously he finds the super weapon it's the child and then you get very cool split between the western people feeling like you know it's a super weapon and then the people in the asian you know continent thinking it's their messiah and you guys, if you guys like talking about sci-fi movies and nerd stuff, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video. You get to see him as certain revelations are made, come to terms with his humanity, whether or not AI is sentient, and that's a core thing throughout the film. The people in the West do not think it's living, do not think it's alive. They keep saying it's just a program, whereas people in the East actually view it as being spiritually real and that it would actually replace humans yeah. and just trying to deal with the breakdown of is this a child or is it a weapon mm -hmm. and what does that mean for humanity and you're going back and forth because you're dealing with an all-out war and from the ai's perspective it's a war they don't want to be a part of and so you get also the two different ideologies of like expansionism versus the AI, which is trying to be pacifist in nature. Or at least that's what they say. Mm -hmm. I think the plot's very well done. Um, I think, again, it's one of those things that you're going to see a lot of it coming from a mile away if you are a fan of the sci-fi genre. And that's a, a good sign for a great film is you can see it coming, but you still enjoy the journey. There's so much love put into the aesthetic, the way it looks. Um, I thought the music... The music Something else that's really cool is this film is not as far set in the future as I initially thought it was from the previews. It's yeah. not post-apocalyptic. It's actually just America and L.A. that has had this, you know, nuclear devastation. The rest of the world is essentially just progressing as we would if this new technology was incorporated. Yeah. And I found it very interesting that they focused on religion and the aspect of AI yeah. being a part of religion with the humans in yeah. Asia really cool to see because you would think that when you talk about ai and like the progression of technology it's usually a separation from religion and kind of an atheist ideology yeah. and instead they took a completely different slant and had the ai a part of the religion as if they were human and had a yeah, soul they just completely slot the ai into buddhism and they're using their temples and they've just kind of made an amalgamation and that's kind of where you see this idea of the ai being the future you have some of the people that they run across talking about it being you know the next step in evolution but also mm -hmm. as a symbol of hope yeah and then we have the machine that america created that's kind of like the death star that's mm -hmm. searching for all of the ai and trying to root them out in asia and bombing different areas whether or not there's humans there so it kind of gives mm -hmm. you this sense that america wants to kill all ai but they're willing to have casualties in the process well, and you get a lot of the messaging that we hear all the time about it's about saving people and about freedom while at the same time they're blowing up villages that are 50 50 ai and people yeah there's a lot of overt references to rebirth and also like heaven heaven yeah and so you get the idea of like a literal giant floating flotilla in the sky that is seen as the next set for the west whereas in asia they're viewing it as more of a rebirth i went into this film with big expectations and it lived up to it. I will say, when I watch a sci-fi film, something I want is the feeling of wanting more. And you get that, but for kind of an odd reason. 
you definitely get the feeling that there's a lot more to this and there were a lot of reports that the initial cut of this film was five hours and in the cuts you get these little tidbits that you wish they had maybe explored a little bit further and so i'm very excited to see in the future if we get a director's cut because this film tackles an enormous amount of themes yeah some pretty awesome some kind of a little bit on the nose for my liking um, yeah there's definitely a ton of different ways to interpret the meaning of the film which i thought was really cool because it's a conversation to be had yeah. with your friends because it's not very obvious what the meaning is behind everything well that's thing about great sci-fi is it's thought provoking and when we got out of this film we immediately had like a 30 minute car ride where we just were vibing with just what it meant you know what it could have meant and even what if this is what it meant? And that was just as rewarding as seeing the film. You get the world building from it, you see all the remnants of all the effort they put into it, but you don't actually get the answers. Which again, very, very much a part of sci-fi sometimes. You have to absorb the aesthetic of sci-fi without maybe getting the answers you want. And I think sometimes they purposely leave the answers out so that you mm -hmm. have conversations and guess about what the meaning is behind yeah. certain scenes. We'll probably go into a separate video, maybe a live stream, where we explore some of the themes and some of the symbolism in this film because it's filled with it. And let us know in the comments if that's something you guys would be interested in because there's a moment in the film where Allison Janning's character gives a little bit of her worldview, and you see that this whole film is very allegorical. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's the overt allegory about like Western imperialism and the idea of like false flags. I think uh, overall, it was just I think it's a really good film. Um, you know, too often people do reviews, and I think they try and either dissuade or persuade people to go see it. I will say, if you are a fan of sci-fi, you should go see this film because it was made on a reasonable budget it does try to push new sci-fi ideas and it's also and, not a rehashing of anything yeah, and it's before a, yeah it's an original work and so if you want to support that style of movie you've got to go see something like this i think anybody who's looking for just a passive entertaining movie is going to get a lot out of this too because it is very entertaining it is a literal spectacle in the best possible way it's visually stunning yeah and you can tell a lot of love went into this and there is a lot of effort put into creating a narrative theme, which is something that you cannot buy at the theater reliably anymore. So we definitely recommend you go see this film. And if you guys haven't seen it already, make sure you go watch it and come back and let us know what you guys thought about the movie. And definitely look out for our live stream where we go and delve deeper into the ideas and the stuff that was going on in this movie. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.